Hello everybody, this is my full guide on how to fix Steam VR not launching on the PC. There are a couple of different solutions, so try not to skip any steps. The first step is to, of course, check all of the cables to your VR headset, the controllers, the base stations, and everything linked to the PC, including the power cables. Uh, this is the biggest cause for connection issues with Steam, with VR, to the Steam VR. Look for any signs of wear or damage on the cables and replace if necessary. By the way, every USB port is not created equal. Some USB ports can handle USB 3.0, some cannot. My PC, for example, cannot. Only some ports can. And if that's the case, uh, you might be hooked up to a USB port that cannot handle uh, 3.1, meaning that uh, Steam VR simply will not work. So that is something worth looking into. Okay, the next step is to uh, restart Steam VR and your PC, of course. I'm sure you know how to do that. And step three is to update the graphics drivers. I'm not going to show you how to do that. You should know how to do that. But uh, if you don't have an app like this, I recommend downloading it, going to drivers and clicking uh, update drivers. Okay, now let's look at Steam VR and the PC. So open up Steam, go to library, find Steam VR under the tools. And there are a couple of things that we want to look at. So right click on it and click properties. Now scroll down into updates and from the drop down menu, you want to click on immediately download updates just to make sure that the updates are downloaded. Okay, after you've done that, uh, one thing you might want to try for example, if Steam VR used to work and it no longer works, is that from this tab, you can roll back the software to a previous release. This is very useful if your software suddenly stopped working. You can also try to opt in to the beta of this. Um, I don't necessarily recommend it. It does come with its own set of problems, but it might be worth considering. The beta update just got uh, released earlier this month, about a week or two ago. So it's something, it, it might fix the issue. Okay, while you're here, go to installed files and click on verify integrity of tool files. This will take a couple of minutes to finish, but this will make sure that any of the files that are corrupted will be uh, automatically fixed by Steam. Okay, once you've done that, let's launch Steam VR and change a couple of settings. So click launch. The Steam VR headset doesn't necessarily need to be connected, but for the time being, connect it to your PC and let's continue. Okay, when you're here, you're gonna see three little bars on the left-hand side, click them, and then go down to developer and click on developer settings. Once this screen is open, scroll down and you'll see remove all Steam VR USB devices. So you want to click this and physically unplug your Steam VR from your, your PC for about 30 seconds and plug it back in. When you plug it back in, your Windows will automatically install the drivers. Wait for that to finish and then restart Steam VR and connect it and see if the issue has fixed itself. While if that didn't work, uh, scroll up and go to direct display mode and you want to enable direct display mode. So what does direct display mode do? Uh, it forces your VR headset to work as an input for Steam VR and it makes sure that Windows doesn't recognize your Steam, your VR headset as a monitor. And this will solve a lot of issues for a lot of different people. So you want to make sure that this is enabled and then you want to make sure that, that it's working. Okay, if you've done this and it still isn't working, let's move on to the next issue. So after this, on the bottom left of your screen, search for device manager. This will come up and your VR headset should be under universal serial bus controllers. Depending on the headset, it might be under human interface devices. So find your VR headset here. It has to be connected, of course. 
and you want to find it, right click on it, go to properties. Here you'll see a tab called power management. Uh, you want to unclick, allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. And there should be an option saying, uh, use basically high power management mode. Basically, you don't want Windows to uh, have the ability to turn off this device or to throttle it in any way. This will cause it to have problems. So make sure this is off, click OK and exit. After you've done that, just to be sure, you might want to right click on this and say update driver and see if that fixes the issue. Okay, if you're using a system with base stations or beacons, Make sure there's no indirect light or reflective surfaces interfering with the tracking. You want to uh, remove any kind of reflective surfaces if possible. You want to make sure that your, P uh, your VR headset is not overheating and that the ventilation is fine. Okay, if you've made sure of that, let's move on to step number, the next step. Go to, uh, so you want to go to settings here. On the left hand side, you'll see network and internet. And you'll see uh, the internet, it should be either ethernet or Wi-Fi. Uh, I'm connected to ethernet, so you'll see ethernet right here. Click on this. And by default, uh, you'll see public network recommended and private network. You want to switch this to private network. Uh, I'm not sure why this works, but this basically makes the Steam VR headset bypass your Windows firewall. By the way, uh, if you are connected via Wi-Fi, make sure it is very stable. And if possible, you might want to consider using Ethernet instead. Okay, the next thing you want to do is go into system configuration. From here, you're gonna see a services tab and these are all the services that are running, basically. You want to click on Hide All Microsoft Services, then click on Disable All. And also you want to go into Task Manager, so uh, press Control shift escape This will open Task Manager. Uh, on the left-hand side, go to Start Up Apps and go uh, you can sort by startup impact and you want to basically right click and disable the startup apps that uh, have a bigger impact on it. Uh, by the way, while you're here, go to processes and you want to end any anti-cheat software. Uh, for example, Counter-Strike anti-cheat software, Valorant anti-cheat software, uh, Marvel Rivals anti-cheat software, all of this could basically uh, affect the VR headset, the Steam VR. So make sure that all of this is shut down. You also want to shut down any kind of overlays or HUDs, for example, in a Steam overlay, tends to uh, affect VR, Steam VR as well. The next thing you want to do is go into Windows Security. And from here, you'll see Virus and Threat Protection, click on this. Scroll down, virus and threat protection settings, go to manage settings and turn off real-time protection. This is basically turning off antivirus. Um, I wouldn't recommend it for the most part, but just turn it off for the time being and see if that fixes the issue and see if it does launch um, and basically turn it off while you're running Steam VR. And when you're finished running it, turn it back on. Okay. And that is it, that should have fixed your issue. If it did fix your issue, please leave the video a like and please subscribe. If it didn't, please leave the video a comment and I will do my best to get back to you.